So we are talking about toolkit functions and their manipulations. And we know that we've been talking about a f of 1 over b x plus c, I'm sorry, minus c plus d. Um, so what I'm going to ask you to do is to take a function, actually all of your toolkit functions. Um, in this case, I'm going to use x squared. And I want you to create sliders for A, B, C, and D. And I'm going to just rename these A, capital A. I'll create another slider, B. And so since I've clicked up here, I can just click another one, C. And then one last one, D. Okay. So we know that the form should be A, F of 1 over B, X minus C plus D. And I need to apply that to the function x squared. So that is going to become the equation y equals a times 1 divided by b times the quantity x minus c. And this whole thing here is squared plus d. Hit return. And we can see that it's shifted. It's been moved. But notice that D has been shifted to zero, oh, to 1, and C has been as well. And we should know that in standard form, A and B are assumed to be 1 because that is a stretch. Um, and that's a multiplier, and that makes it be like you didn't multiply anything. And C and D are the um, movements. And so those movements should be 0. And so now we can look and we can go, oh, watch, when A gets compressed, or when A gets bigger, that means it's a vertical stretch. So it looks like it's getting smaller, but notice, if you move that back to 1, if B gets smaller, that looks a lot like a vertical stretch, doesn't it? But then something else happens when it goes way over here. It's a horizontal stretch. Huh, when A gets narrower, it stretches out wider. Anyway, the big idea is that we can play with this and notice how these functions move. Whoops, cancel that. Um, all right, D makes it go up and down. C makes it go left and right. B stretches it horizontally, and that's why it almost looks like it falls in on itself and comes out, whereas A stretches it vertically, and that's why it flips over itself this way. So anyway, something to take note of. Um, we're going to do this for each function, and that's it. Thanks.